So I am actually sitting in a hotel room right now waiting for Ben McMillan. And if you don't know who Ben McMillan is, he is the owner of a company called Hilltop Packs. And Hilltop Packs makes those super cool Dyneema printed bear bags that everybody's using right now. And I have an example of something that he's printed on. Now it's not the bear bag because the bear bag is actually buried in my backpack. But let me show you what I do have. Okay, this right here is a Dyneema printed chair bag for um, the Helinox Chair Zero. So this is Dyneema and Ben actually figured out how to print on this. And according to Ben, it's a really technical process. So um, it took him a while to figure that out. Tomorrow, we're on a backpacking trip, like probably tomorrow morning. I think we're going to walk through what Ben is actually bringing. Cause wouldn't it be cool to see if he actually has any of this Dyneema printed stuff? Is he actually using the bear bag that he sells everybody? What's up, buddy? Morning. How you doing? Pretty good. Welcome to my home. Yeah, you just let people with cameras in. That's cool. Yeah, prefer it that way. Dude, I love how <laughs> his pack slept with him in the bed like that. That's so awesome. That's not normal. That's not something. No, that, that is normal. definitely not normal. I see he's a, he's already using his pack that he made, so that's a good sign. He does use his own gear. So this is this is what I brought. This is my bag right here. Where's your chair? You have a chair? So I don't normally bring a chair unless I'm with people. Okay. And you oh. guys, I consider you guys people. So I brought a chair right here. All right. Chair zero. Okay, you got the chair. You got yours in your own printed Dyneema bag. That's see good. Chair cover. I see you have one as well. Oh, it's got the company logo on there. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. What do you what what backpack is that? This is the Raven. Okay, this is our, our backpack. It's the only one we have out right now. I've had it off for about a year. This is normally it's a 40 or 45 liter. I oversized this one personally for mine. It's a 50 liter. So it's oh, a God. monster pack for a frameless pack. Frameless. Wow. Custom okay. printed. Cool design we made in the shop. All right. What do you keep in the the, the back seat? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's see what you got. Let's see. Just some camp gloves. Picking up firewood because I'm a wimp. I don't like touching the wood. <laughs> so. Camp gloves. You got gloves in yours? I do, but they're in the car. Oh, I left okay. them in the truck. Yep, I got a pair of fleece gloves that I bought at uh, a camping world for seven bucks. I don't always bring alcohol, but I did bring a little bit of something uh -oh. in there. Uh oh, did all right. Alcohol? I did not, no, but I do okay. have to go pick up water at the store. Right. There you go. <laughs> got my poop kit back here. Oh, yep, got my trowel. Everybody always wonders if I bring a trowel. I just started bringing a trowel. I normally never used a trowel. Usually, you stick with your hands? Yeah. No, I take yeah. with the trekking pole oh. or a shoe or a stick or something like that. And, uh, but I did yes. finally get the trowel. It's the, this is the deuces, the deuce, the deuces spades. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Got the dueling deuces. I won't pull my, I won't pull my deuce off. And I got sanitizer wipes here. These are just some sanitizer wipes. I'll grab my one inside the pack. Okay. Just a little attachment for my phone. If I decide to watch movies inside my tent or do any kind of selfies with the tripod this mounts right on there little attachment for my phone okay all right uh let's see what i get back here i've got my ground cloth which is a piece of tie back and then i've got my this is my preferred winter uh rain jacket it's the uh frog togs uh ultralight rain jacket because i can put this over my down jacket by a fire and not worry about the embers Burning my jacket, I don't really care about this thing. I got one in here too. Do you really? Uh, yep. Yeah. Let me find it in here. Got the frog. My blue is a little bit built up. Yeah. Right. Nice. Blue frog dogs. On the outside, I got a trekking pole. Do you have trekking poles? I got trekking poles. These yeah. are just some cheapo hiker hunger poles off Amazon. I've had them for a while. All right. Yeah. I got the Gossamer Gear LT5. Fancy. Oh, trekking pole. Yeah, it is very <laughs> fancy. Uh, what else you got? I got my water. Purification kit on the outside, so okay. I can grab it real quick. Yep, I got mine uh, shoved in a pocket right now, and I'm gonna hang it off the front. I got the bead free, the catadine right there. Nice. I Sorry, Sorry, squeeze. Sorry, squeeze. Yeah, All right, I haven't switched. Okay. Uh, hiking gloves. I have gloves of hiking since it's a little chilly out. Okay. All right, hiking gloves. I'm, I'm such a you, so you got, you, you got yeah, special gloves for hiking. The dainty princess hands. Princess I got gotcha. you. Okay. Except All right. Nails done, so. Yep. Uh, oh, and this is the Outdoor Vitals uh, Shadow Light. I'm testing this pack out. I've never used it before. 
So we're gonna see how this thing. It's pretty sweet looking pack. Yeah, it is. It's a pretty nice pack. It's got a big zipper right down in front, so like you can get to everything. Nice. Cool. All right. So oh, here I got. What do you, you got? Other stuff on the outside? Yeah. So this, actually, I do have a poop kit out here. Sorry, it's actually my wife is on my poop kit. <laughs> <laughs> my wife actually said, "Why am I on your poop kit? Because am I the?" Sh and I said, "Don't say that." <laughs> so she's on my poop kit. Oh, that's uh, awesome. fuel. Uh, alcohol stove. Okay, you got the alcohol stove. I want canister. I almost want alcohol, but I don't like alcohol stoves. I still, I'm, just, I'm just not an alcohol stove guy. So I want canister. I kept my canister on the outside of the... I like everything. I don't know. Guess, like, mixing it up. Pants, rain pants. I don't know if I'm going to Okay. Water. Water. I got to buy water. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to stop at a store and buy some water bottles. Tent poles, of course. Tent poles, okay. Got my tent poles right here. I see you do have a pad. Right yep, yours. yep. Uh, okay. One ounce pad as well. But one ounce, I don't know how many ounces this is. I don't even know. It's, it's probably pretty light. Probably pretty light. Uh, what well, hip, hip, hip belt pockets, what do you got? I am not a hip belt, hip belt pocket guy. I actually okay. do the fanny pack. Oh, fanny pack. Okay. This okay. has an extra camera in here and some snacks. Extra camera, okay. All right, let's see what I got here. Uh, oh, this one I just got some sunglasses and I might throw some snacks in there. If I, if I actually go buy snacks. <laughs> and then over here I keep my down beanie. Uh, this is Outdoor Research down beanie. And then my headlamp. So I always know where my headlamp's at. That's actually a lot of good. It's a, that's a good idea. I should probably put my headlamp in here. So. Oh, see, there you go. He's already learning. Yeah, I am see that? Stuff. learning some stuff. For my hat, I do like this hat. This is a Carhartt um, hat. It's like supposed to be a liner for like, uh, if you work on gas oil. There's a gas oil place right next to my shop. And uh, they sell this little liner, but I use this just to hike. It's really thin. Oh yeah, uh, perfect for you know, 40, 50 degree weather. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then rest of the snacks in a camera. All right. What else you got on the outside? Anything? I do usually carry my Garmin. Okay. In reach. Yep. I got the mini right here. Okay. Got the large. Okay. All right. Let's see that. Inside. Oh, you're gonna like this. Hey hey hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Look at that. Like the it. Hilltop Packs Dyneema printed with my logo Diddy Bag. I like it. The DB. It's not DB for Diddy Bag. It's what could be. It's <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get into this in a minute. But. Keep a puffy rail top. Oh, my puffy. Uh, I set it down here. I'll grab it. Oh, I also keep a buff in my uh, hip belt pocket, too. This is just a merino wool buff. Here. But then I just brought my, this is just an Arcturix Cerium SL, I think it is. Yeah, this is my winter puppy. So this is nothing fancy I got on Amazon. My wife got it for me. I'm not sure what the brand is. No idea, but it's, it works, so I have an upgrade again. All right. Um, oh, you're going to like this too. Food bag. My food bag. This, what size is this? That is, that was like the medium, we used to do a medium, that was like a medium size of thing. Oh, no, I'm sorry, what, the, what is that? It's okay. a smaller one, I, I know that. This, one. this is the large. So how many days, like are they rated for certain days? Yes, yeah, so we say one to three days in the, in the small, and the large we say three to seven days. Because this was, odd. I loved this one, because it was like, it wasn't, it was just the right size, I felt like, for not only my food, but to fit nicely inside my pack. So. If it was small and large, that might have been like the medium one, I forget. I don't know if that's large or not. I don't think that's large. This is the large. Okay. What else you got in there? I have my pillow on top, mainly because I use an actual like, real pillow. <laughs> oh, I, you do? I have right. tried the inflatable pillows. I yeah. just cannot get into it. So Which one is that? I just I just custom printed. You, you, you just custom made, printed and made, made your own. my own pillow. Yeah, put my logo on there. Why would so I nice be surprised cushy, by that? Super soft. Okay. Again, I'm a baby. So I got pillows too. I, I have real pillows. I don't use the air pillows anymore. I can't do the I air quit. pillow thing. I cannot They're turn terrible. it into a brick at some point. I can't do it. Okay, what else you got? I, oh, yeah, I'll show you what I got next, actually. So I got my tent on top as high as I get because I feel like that's what I'm going to pull out first when I get to camp, right? Makes sense. So this is the, I'm testing this one out. This is the Perea Outdoors Bryce one person tent. So I'm excited to try this. Nice. I just have some extra winter clothes, socks to sleep in, extra pair of pants. I mean, uh, like thermal pants. Okay. And might be a shirt. Oh, extra clothes in there? Okay. Yeah, probably too much. Probably the needle. Sleeping pad? 
Thermarest. Uh, this is the X Therm because it's supposed to get pretty chilly tonight, right? X Therm. This is yeah. Actually, this is the regular I'm size. There you go. Do you have the new one? The new nozzle one? No, I got the old one. I may want to trade you if you want this one. Really? Because I have the pump that blows them up. I was disappointed to see my pump won't fit on here. So we. Well, made... I, I've got. A, I'll show you the pump I've got, which doesn't oh. fit that one either. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, whatever. But I got a generic one. And my little med kit. It's also my little hygiene kit. Oh, oh yeah, med kit. Yeah, people are like, where's your med kit, Dan? So over here, I forget. This backpack has a lot of organizational pockets on it, so I got a med kit right there. It's just a little uh, med kit. If you want to know what's in here, I'll link a video right up here. I combined mine with my hygiene kit, so, so this is actually a dual pocket bag. So oh, there you go. You don't need to see all that. That's it. I just got this. This is actually a recommendation from you, and I appreciate it. This is replacing my other winter tent. This is the Nemo. Kuna, I think is how you say it. How do you say it? Yeah. So close enough. So excited to try this out. Have not tried it out outside of my living room. So <laughs> excited to try it out. That's a good tent. Yeah. It's really good. I think it's only like less, a less than four pounds. Yep. I do have some booties. Oh, well, which ones are those? So I got this recommendation from the Show Brothers. Is that Goose Feet? This is, I believe, the Goose Feet. This yeah. Is, uh, yep. So these are the booties and these are the covers so you can walk out in the snow if you yeah. want. Yeah. And they replaced my old ones I've had just for about two years, but they kind of fell apart. They were cheap. Oh, that's awesome. But these seem like much better, well-made. Yeah, I've been looking booties. at those. All right. So, and if anybody's wondering if I brought a pack liner, I did. This is the uh, Thermarest uh, pump sack, which also doubles as a pack liner. It's, it's waterproof. So it just cinches and then you roll it down. So yes, I did bring a pack liner. I do not do a pack liner, but I pretty much have everything in a stuff sack. All right. But I usually do a pack liner. I didn't do a stuff well, I, he says he brought real pillow. I brought real pillows as well. I brought two of these uh, nice. Thermarest compressible pillows because I can't sleep with just one pillow. I have to have two. <laughs> I'll have to make something for you. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. All right. And then I keep my clothes. I just shoved all my – I don't have a clothing bag. I just put all my, like, I, the only extra clothes I bring is a pair of socks. I got a pair of wool sleeping socks. These are just some ones that, when uh, Bass Pro Shops sold these, big, thick, redhead wool socks. If I used a pack liner, I probably would stuff the stuff in the pack as well. You got your quilt in there? Uh, I did not bring a quilt. I brought My, this is my, I brought the Z-Pax 10 degree sleeping bag. Nice. This is a zero degree from Cedar Ridge Outdoors. Okay. This about, only about a year ago. I've only used it a couple times. So this is, this is all right. What I don't like about it is that the zipper, it's like a quilt, but the zipper's on the, like it's underneath you as you sleep. You can't like put it on your side because there's no insulation where it zips. Gotcha. So, but it's not like uncomfortable. It's just really awkward getting in and out. But it's warm and it's only, it's a 10 degree bag. It's 27 ounces. Nice. Yeah. I think this is 32 ounces for a zero degree. Oh my gosh. Who made that? It is a smaller company. Out, I'm sorry, Cedar Ridge Outdoors. Oh. And it's definitely kept me warm. I also have a lightning equipment, 20 degree and a 50 degree. That's a so, quilt, right? Quilt, yeah. Yeah. And I may stop in Dolly Sons on the way home from Kentucky. And it's a little colder there, and so I wanted a zero yeah. degree. Kind of keep me warm. Nice. Um, and then I got what is this? Something that snuck its way into my bag. Apparently, I don't even know what this. This might be part of the backpack. Just I don't even know. Uh, this is I keep under my sleeping pad. Got the Gossamer Gear uh, eighth inch pad. I love this thing. Nice. Super awesome. I'm dry. I think that's it. That's it. All right. What about what about in your ditty bag? What do you got in your ditty bag? That? Hope I brought it. He's <laughs> <laughs> got it. He's so hiding it. I have. This is more an electronics bag. Does you keep batteries and stuff in there? Yeah. Because I keep my personal stuff in my. I combine these two. So this is my med kit and my hygiene kit, and then this is just my battery. Charging kit, just dump it all out of there. And I keep this one in my pen at night. Yes, I keep a little lamp because I'm a little baby. Oh, that's all right. A pump that doesn't fit my <laughs> sleeping pad. Little Anchor 10,000. 
I hate in the morning get all snotty nosed and just a couple extra batteries for again, I'm a girl. I shouldn't say I'm a girl, I'm a little baby. Headlamp, it's locked. Yeah, I got the same. There headlamp. we go, yeah. That's pretty much it, a little tiny little baby knife. All right. I don't carry a manly knife. That's all right. Uh, oh, knife, yeah, I got a knife. That's not a knife, that's a knife. <laughs> got the Benchmade 941. Mine's, mine's lighter. Yeah, it is lighter, <laughs> for sure. Um, all right, so let's see what I got. That's it. Okay, so I got a couple of charging cables for my electronics, and I put some of these uh, awesome hand warmers. These are the 18 hour ones. These are really nice. ZPX toothbrush, got a couple, or an extra battery for my camera. This is the pump I was telling you about. It's the Flextail Gear uh, pump. It'll pump up, comes with a bunch of different attachments, actually. This is the crappy pump I have that no longer works. Yeah, the thermorest one. So this. There we go. Very cool. And it, it pumps up my uh, sleeping pad super fast. And then I got Check some out. fire starters here. Uh, these are just Esbit cubes for winter. Tenacious tape, extra SD card. Uh, this is just the, uh, in case I can't filter water. Uh, some tablets here, toothpaste, lighter. Um, and then they say, oh, what about our food kits? Did you show them your food kit? What's inside my food bag? Yeah, you, what, are you, what are you cooking with? What's your stove? I can show you. Yeah, I need to find my stove. So I keep it inside here. It's pretty light. And this, I do change my cook kit around quite a bit, depending on who I'm with, what I'm doing. Uh, this is my whole cook kit right here. I do carry an extra little cup for coffee. Oh, nice. And a little spoon. That's a weekend warrior right there, just like me. Yeah, That's awesome. Absolutely. 35 days, I am done, ready to go home. <laughs> me too, 100%. So I keep this little cleaning cloth. Okay. I made my little lid. Little that looks like it was very difficult to make. Yeah, it's very expensive. It's yeah. It's called tin foil. Wow. Yeah. A little lighter. Okay. A uh, little windscreen I made just out of some. You made that? Yeah, just punch some holes in. I think this came oh. with an old like cooking pan. Oh, something. nice. And then I keep my. You make a lot of your own gear. That's probably why you started your own outdoor company. I, yeah, that's kind of how it came out. Uh, this is my little pot or my pot, my pot, my little stove. It's getting kind of beat up. It's actually a little. It's a smaller than a regular pot can. I was trying to make it as small as possible and burn as fast as I can. And I made like twenty of them until I found the right one that burned the fastest and heated up my water the fastest. There we go. And to measure my fuel, I just carry a little measuring cup, and I know just how much I need to boil, you know, what's in my pot. Like, if I fill this up three quarters of the way, I know I need that much fuel to make it boil, and I'm good to go. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I just got my usual. Uh, this time I brought the 550 milliliter Tokes pot. Well, I don't think there. I gotta, I gotta take you out so it focuses on my stuff. <laughs> uh, that, and then I got... Just an extra lighter because I can never find my lighter when I need it. So this time I brought a second lighter. Um, and then I got the, the Soto Windmaster uh, stove. And that's that's it in my camp fuel. Oh, and then people probably wonder what this is. It's some chapstick. Chapstick. That's it. That's right. the food. Yeah. Food's nice. boring. Food. food is boring and it's right That's oh it. but i am using this stuff again this guy sent this to me i don't even know who this company is on nothing about them other than they sent this to me so shout out to them again this stuff is super super good i have no idea i have no idea how much this costs like literally i have no clue um it was just it showed up on my doorstep so if you are interested check out these guys you want to check that out and uh it's uh freeze-dried food so shout out to pencil food i've also tried something new this is a company that just Evergreen Adventure Foods. Oh, nice. I ate one of them. It's pretty good. So, I don't okay. know where they are as far as being legit just yet. Maybe they're in certain stages. I have no idea. Good stuff. Dom booties. Oh, oh, sweet. Gosh, I want some Dom booties. They're so light, too. Yeah. All right. I Is that it? it? I think it's we it. We got it? So, we actually have to go backpacking now, right? We have to? Um. This is the fun part, right? Probably not. No. <laughs> uh, we can find something to do. Yeah. All right, guys. If you like this video, uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more. I'll put my Instagram right here. And uh, I don't know. You guys can decide in the comments who brought the uh, better gear. So we'll see you guys on the next one.